Good morning, everybody. Just wanted to give a quick update on Maggie May's kids, um, who are now approaching the four-week mark. Um, and they are drinking water out of a bowl, like big boys and girls. And I just made a little batch of um, the express version of kitten chow oatmeal. Uh, and between Mama and the babies, they ate it all up. The plate's empty. So we on solid food now. Woohoo! We're just starting. So that's a milestone for these little guys. But everybody is doing very good here. Um, so uh, Phoebe's kids all go to the doctor on Friday. That was the fastest appointment I could get. Um, but they are also eating kin chow oatmeal and drinking water out of the bowl. Um, and they have started just a little bit using their kitty box, which is probably why they're all sneezing so bad. So, um, but just wanted to give you a quick update. So um, I will show you guys real quick how I make the express kitten chow oatmeal. Okay, so here we are on my kitchen counter. Yes, Miss Katie. Katie is narrating as I go in her own language. Um, so I've got their little dish here, and I just take a scoop. These are all the dry food dishes I have, because my kids are spoiled rotten, so they get a variety of stuff. Um, get a little scoop. And I do it just enough. Oh, gotta get the camera going the right way. Try to make just one nice even layer. And this is technically, I think it's supposed to be close to a quarter of a cup. Yeah, one quarter cup is what it says, if you can see. Probably can't focus quite right. Camera focus! No, anyhow. Um, so I use that. And then I just come over to the kitchen faucet. Now this is the express version. When you make it proper, you can see where I spilled something the last time. When you make it proper, you uh, make it with kitten formula. But this is the express version, I call it. And I just get the water warm. Not hot, just lukewarm. And then you just kind of let it dribble around, almost like you're making cereal. And then you let it sit. And what happens is, as the little particles get wet and they soak up the warm water, um, they'll get very soft. And then the little kitties can just munch it up. Now, if you make oatmeal proper when you make it with the, um, yes, Miss Katie, we know. When you make it with the formula, you mash it all up into, like, almost a paste. Um, but these guys are, like, beyond that already. They're like, yeah, no, we want the actual stuff that we can pick up. So I'm like, wow, okay. So they're doing real good. And you could see it already starting to change color. And it'll turn lighter. And that's when it's softer. So we'll just give it about, usually takes about maybe five minutes to do it this way. Um, when you use warm liquid, it goes very, very fast. If you make a batch ahead of time with cold liquid, it takes much longer to get soft, just so you guys know ahead of time. Um, that would be a situation where maybe you'd make a batch overnight if you were going to feed it the next morning. But once you add the warm water or warm formula, it seems to get mushy a lot faster than cold. You know, so just for FYI. But we'll come back and we'll check this in a couple of minutes. Yes, Miss Katie. Miss Katie is forever telling me things. What do you think, Alex? No, Alex, this is for the babies. That's not yours. I'll make you your own batch, okay? Okay. Yeah, we love you, buddy. Okay. And then about 10 minutes have gone by, and as you can see, um, it's gotten all soft. You can see where it's darker is where it's still hard. Um, but everything else has turned nice and soft. So at this point, what I just do is I drain off any excess liquid, just so it doesn't spill everywhere. Um, and then they should be good to go. So I'm going to do that. I can't do that with one hand. So, um, And then I'll put it down for them. Okay. So, yes, Miss Kitty, we love you. So we've got the excess liquid drained out. And then we just bring it in. I've got the little barrier set up which is holding the babies pretty good, um, except the big gray guy. I had to rearrange it and put it in front of the sofa because he figured out how to get underneath the sofa, even though it's extremely low to the ground. And I caught him halfway up the hallway this morning. So, 
Um, but then we'll just put this down. Right, guys? See, we'll put this down right here. And then Mama likes it. And then when they see Mama eating it, they're going to be like, ooh, it's good for Mama. It's good for me, too. And that's all there is to it. And then it's nice and soft for them to eat. Okay? Right, Miss Finn? See, now it's time for us to go to work. So we will see you guys later. Bye-bye.